I stand here in the editing booth after just finishing editing this. Uh, it's fairly, it's it's the first episode. I, it's mostly just cutting things together or whatever, cutting out bits of fluff or whatever. Um, I just a fair warning um, for this, just to make sure my mic is still recording. Yeah, so um, the mic quality is not the greatest in this one. It's not really doing a very good job picking up my voice. And also I will um, say, so... Oh, but um, basically, I record with two audio tracks in OBS, uh, game audio and desktop audio. And I usually have game audio on a separate channel um, for whatever game I'm playing at a given time. And I have my desktop audio muted so I can listen to music or um, watch YouTube while I record something. Um, however, I had them both running, and I think it's caused some issues with the audio track in this episode. So there's a lot of, like, duplicate sounds. But um, yeah, I just want to get that out of the way um, before the before the video started. And I also want to say that um, I'm in, so far a lot more motivated to play this than I was coming up to the end of the All the Mods 9 series. So I'm probably going to stick with this for, for the time being. And then hopefully I don't get bored with this one or I don't get frustrated with it. But for the time being, I'm a lot more motivated to play this. So I'm, I'm going to play this for, for a little while. I also do intend to do, um, once I have some setups going, maybe do some guide videos as well. That being said, onto the video. All right, so we're going to try something new. Um, I'm take I'm as I said in the previous video, I'm taking a break from all the mods nine, and we're going to be playing some Enigmatica Two Expert. This is a brand new world. I've got a little bit of stuff up and running. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with the pack, um, the basic stone tools are not available. Uh, they are instead replaced with the Tinker's Contract tools. So uh, basically, you just make the parts. And you place flint in this part builder with a pattern and it creates different parts to create the pickaxes. This one is a Certus, which is the next tier up from flint. Um, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working our way up through the different tiers of the um, of the pickaxes uh, to try and get a little bit further in. Uh, so we've already got this one. Let's get some grout. Claim that. And then we also want... Um, let's grab a copper hammer. Claim that. Awesome source. Now the next tier is oh, iron. Or get a free lava bucket out of that. I'm going to use that for this. Now our big issue right now is we need more gold. I believe we have a gold pickaxe head cast. We just need uh, a some more gold for the rest of the casts, just for the pickaxes for right now. So that's all we're worrying about right now, it's just pickaxes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna chuck all of this stuff in here. Oh, there's not enough room in here. Okay, I'll chuck the rest in here. And then I'm gonna go track down some gold. So give me about five, 10 minutes to track down some gold. All right, we've managed to track down some gold. This should be more than enough for all the patterns we need for the time being. Uh, all I'm really concerned about right now is getting our pickaxe level up. Uh, and once we get it to a high enough level, going to the, um, what's its face, the, the nether, because that's where all the good, the good ores are for the next tier, because I believe, I believe after iron, oh wait, what's this one, lead, I was led the next tier up from iron, oh, okay, I think this one is the one we want to work up to in today's episode, which is going to be the end goal, and then after that we can start looking into some machines, hopefully, maybe some um, immersive engineering stuff. And I can actually go through the effort of learning immersive engineering. It's like sort of half ass it every time I play through a, a mod pack. I've also got only two chests right now. Um, that is because the chest recipes in this pack are absolutely absurd. Also, what is that flickering all about? That's because I'm in my inventory. Okay, well, that'll get annoying, but it should be right. Uh, yeah, we need treated wood, we need buttons, and we need normal planks, which is going to take a little bit of time to get to that point. But until then... We should be fine. That is really annoying, that flickering. I'm currently using the uh, SEUS PTGI shaders. I've tweaked them a little bit. I'm still not entirely happy with how they look. I might change it out to a different shader, but we'll see. Uh, for the time being, so we want uh, to put you back in there. We want the tool rod and we want the binding. Let's quickly go into here. Yes. Uh, we want binding and we want tool rod and then what we do is we go over here fill that in and we're also going to try and get an ingot one if we can but no guarantees and then you let's put you back in there awesome and then 
Do we have enough for the ingot cast? Do we have any ingots on hand? We do. Please be enough. It is not enough. That is really, really annoying. Okay. Well, we won't worry about that right now. Actually, we're going to have to worry about that right now. Let me go grab some more gold. I'll be back in a second. All right. Let us chuck you in there for right now. That's going to get really annoying. That should be right. We're chunking all of you in there. Yeah, let's get up to iron so we can grab some of the lead that was down there. Uh, are you going to melt? Hurry up. Very slowly, mind you. Yeah, so um, the plan is, yeah, the Enigmatica 2 for the time being. Um, the Elden Ring stuff's going to stop. I kind of got really just like... Because From Software's games are my favourite games. Like, Elden Ring is one of my favourite games. Dark Souls 3 is my favourite game. Um, and playing it for content was just too draining for me. Like, I didn't feel very satisfied with, like... It, it was sort of like I wanted to experience it of my own self instead of having to make it into content so i decided i'm just gonna not make the rest of the content um i'm just gonna sit there and enjoy the experience for what it is because that's at the end of the day the reason i love those games is for the experience of playing them myself it's not the experience of making videos like i want the the experience of playing one of these for the first or auto jump so let me fix that uh, yeah. the experience of playing it for the first time is kind of like less Less, less fun when I have to like worry about like being entertaining and like talking and shit like that. So I'm, I'm just gonna stop the series there and I'll just play it in my own time. Um, I, which is like, I, it was a tough decision to make because I know some people are enjoying it. By the end of the day, most of the videos aren't doing really well, except for weirdly the one that I just uploaded, the ones on the finger ruins. That one did inexplicably really well and I have no idea why. Like it's my best performing video in like the last couple of weeks. So it's like, why is that the case? I have no idea. Alright, is that cleared up lava? Awesome. Let's get some more iron, shall we? I do intend doing on expanding the smelters thing as well. I also forgot to put the waypoints at home, which is an idiot moment on my part. Uh, back over here. Where is it? Where's the... Is it... Here? Let me just flick a torch on either side of it so I know where it is next time. But yeah, um, for the time being, it's mostly just resource collection. I'm going to take this playthrough of Enigmatica a little bit slower, just because the last one I sort of bum-rushed AE2, and then I was sort of like getting to the point where I'm like getting frustrated having to microcraft everything for the next like stage of progression. I'd rather just get to the point where I can get AE2 up and running, and then I'll just be like good from there. That is really annoying. All right, let me see if I can... Shaders, shader options. Can I just reset them to default? Uh, that's fine. Surface options, that's fine. Oh, maybe it's because I'm using a different tone map. Oh, that was the reason why I was freaking out, because I was using the other one. That sky disappearing when I'm in here, that's kind of annoying, but I can get used to that. Uh, we need U3. Hurry up and drain. Actually, I can start making it now. Iron. Tool rod. Pickaxe. Are you going to finish melting? I'm also... How much coal do I have? Plenty. Where's my grout? Do I have any grout? Can I just get? Wait, no, I don't want to smell you. Can I just get some grout? Or am I going insane? Yeah. I claimed grout. Where the fuck did I put it? Oh, there it is. Grout. Awesome. Okay. And then the rest we shall make into ingots over time. Uh, put all three of you back in there. And ingot. Okay, awesome. And we're going to go into the part builder? No, this one. And we're going to go pickaxe. 
Where the fuck did the tool rod go? Oh, so. Uh, did I not make the tool rod? I did. We want pickaxe, you. Awesome. Grab the next stage. Now we're gonna go collect some lead, I reckon. Oh, check my phone. All right, let's collect some lead. I think, believe I saw some down here. Hmm. Sorry, vapor rip. Um, before we do that, I'm gonna quickly set this as my home. Uh, I had to reinstall the pack because I'm accidentally bugged it, so all my waypoints are gone, which is very fun. Awesome. All right, let's get some lead. I could just gonna bum rush our way up the tiers, but it makes life easier. I remember obsidian being pretty good. Is this lead? Awesome. I don't know why I'm manually mining it when I could just use vein miner. Ah, oh, where was the other lead that I saw? It might be over like yonder. Wait. Eh. That's tin, I don't really care. Um, lead. Lead, 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 lead. Ah, uh, but yeah, what I was what was I saying before when I was down here? I don't actually remember. Uh tin, silver. Ooh, iron. I miss my ultimine though. That's the one thing that I'll say. You're a zombie. Oh, there's gold right here. How have I missed it for that long? I know the sword's broken, but I don't really care. And so we want lead. We're also going to want that iron. Nickel we won't worry about. Gold we will worry about. Um, more iron. Ooh, set of quartz. I want to get a decent supply of set of quartz going. And is there anything else in here that I particularly want? Not for the time being. Alright, back to home. Yeah. Why the fuck? What the fuck? What? Why am I... Why am I under the ground? Shit. Alright, let me fix that up real quick. Uh, remove. Remove. New. Home. Yeah, okay. That is so bizarre. Oh, we got the lead, didn't we? We need to make it all into ingots. I might get a basin. I don't have any seed bricks, that's fucking annoying. Oh, I do. Uh, so I need a spout. I need a drain. Uh, is it like that? And then I need a basin. What if I put it like... Oh, like the nice, like reflective ground looks very nice. I need a two more. Why is this taking so long? Oh, it's short, isn't it? There we go. Awesome. Dump the lead in, and hopefully, getting up to the tier where we can start get looking into getting. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, we harvest lead. Oh, we might as well grab that. I'm going to make that into bricks. We're actually going to take those out. And we're going to use them to upgrade our smeltery. 
Put you back in for right now. Awesome. All right. Uh, lead. So we want a lead pickaxe. Watch this not be enough lead. I'm actually going to cry if that's the case. Why's my phone blowing up on me? What's going on? Work stuff. It's so weird being like out of work for like so long where it's like, even when I get back to work, I have like limited duties for 12 or six weeks. So it's like a total of 12 weeks out of like work while still being employed. It's such a weird feeling to me. Cause I've never taken this much straight time off. Obviously it's, I have a broken arm or a fractured arm, but um, it's still like a weird feeling to me. Uh, we want you, we want a pickaxe. Okay, what's the next tier up? Osmium. Obtaining a pig iron pickaxe head will also complete this quest. Why specifically a pig iron pickaxe head? Also, pig iron sounds like way too much effort. Also, the best thing about the loot boxes in the next game, they give you like really good Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, which is good for Spice of Life, which I'm, I'm actually considering giving Spice of Life a proper, proper like shot in this. Um, I really didn't like it my first playthrough, but I'm considering like taking, because I'm taking this one a bit more slow, um, giving a proper, proper crack at that. Uh, did I see more osmium anywhere? That's tin. Oh, lag. I'm shocked this is running at 143 FPS, to be honest, with shaders on like such a heavily modded client. Uh, I'd love to make my own like tech mod pack. I feel like I have like really good ideas. I just don't know how to execute them. That's tin, that's silver. I swear I saw osmium, didn't I? Silver, tin, oh, gold. This is Thorncraft, yeah it is. I've I've played Thorncraft before, but not like actually played it. I downloaded it when I was a kid because I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I didn't know what to do. So I like played for like five minutes, got confused and stopped playing. Cause it was part of like the mod packs I used to make for myself when I was younger. Back when I was like 13. Uh, teleport. Okay, awesome, it's worked. So we want, I'll grab the, pop you in there. We want ingot. Cast. Ooh, iron block. And we also want U3. Slowly work our way up through the, the different tiers. We're going to chuck the osmium in. Put the lead back in there. Put that in there. Turn this into a iron. What's next after osmium? Oh, wait. Oh, which one do I want? Uh, night slime. Well, while we're here, we might as well make a shovel out of it. If we have the extra materials, we'll make a shovel out of it. So I have the tool rod and the binding. I've, what are you fucking talking about? I've got plenty of... What? How gated is mechanism? I don't remember. Quest lines, gates. Yeah, we'll probably work through the immersive engineering gate and then maybe the industrial craft gate. Maybe Thorncraft. I've no, I haven't actually played Thorncraft like properly before. Uh yeah, we'll probably go immersive engineering, then forestry and industrial craft, which all three are mods that I very dislike, but should be right. Well, okay, immersive engineering's okay, but and Thorncraft I haven't really had very much experience with, but from what I played of my previous playthrough, industrial craft and forestry were not very fun. Especially since industrial craft seems like Greg Tech, but like old, older Greg Tech. And I don't like Greg Tech either. Uh, I want another binding, I think. What is it for the shovel? Uh, shovel. Binding, tool rod, and shovel head. All right, so I want a tool rod. Awesome. Oh, and chuck all of you in there. I can get cast in there. And then we want, where is it? Okay, so we want a pickaxe first. Osmium. And then we want a shovel. Finally upgraded my shovel after all this time. 
get rid of you. Awesome. And then grab my osmium. One ingot after that. Yes. Okay. This seems pretty easy so far. Getting to this point in my first playthrough was a bit of a struggle. Um, it was very much a learning process for me because I hadn't really used much of Tinker's Construct. I'd seen other people play it and I was like, oh, that looks cool, but I hadn't played it much myself. What's next? Uh, okay, Obsidian. What we're going to need then is a bucket. That requires iron plates, doesn't it? Iron plates. I just need to... What does the four chamber cost? Sticks and iron. I can make that. Uh, stick recipe wasn't too bad. I remember trying playing E6E and the stick recipe in that was not fun. Like getting sticks in that. Uh, I want one, two, three. What? Oh my god. Getting plates in the early game, I forgot it's a tedious and mind numbing process. Okay. Uh, we want you. Let's grab some water. And we shall go track down some lava. So I'll let you know once I've done that. We stand here with some lava and also diamonds. So let's quickly grab those, shall we? Or just not have the right level. Awesome. I'm gonna risk it. Risk it. I know you're not supposed to do that, but there's unbreakable walls nearby. Oh shit. Uh, uh, uh. I think we lost one diamond, that should be right. We don't really care. Uh, I just want obsidian. Which should be more than enough, I reckon. Now we wait. One million years, apparently. I hate how long it takes to break. It seems so pointless to me. Like, I get it's supposed to be difficult, but it's like... It is time-consuming shit, man. Let's grab some more while we're here. Oh, we shouldn't have got rid of all of it. I might need some of the smeltery. Oh. That's a goof up on my part. Should be right. Also, this cave is really dense with ore, so I'm going to come back here once I've got a better pickaxe. Uh, I'm actually going to leave a waypoint here. Lava. I'm gonna make it orange, because, you know. All right, back to home. Now, we just dump the obsidian in here. Oh, we need a sharpening kit first. What do you need for a sharpening kit? Oh, okay. I heard it. Yeah. Hello, there's a creeper there. Come, come this way, darling. Yep, over here. Away from my house. trapped in the hole. I feel like I'm in Fortnite right now. Okay. He is no longer a problem. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. Fucking heart palpitations. Alright. Uh, sharpening kit. That's what we're going to do. Uh, where's our stencil table? Don't I have any stencils? Really? They're cheap as chips, aren't they? Wait, are there not any in here? Yeah, there is. I'm a fucking idiot. I need... What is it, the sharpening kit? Which one is it? These are all unhelpfully named. Alright, awesome. We need two gold? I've got lots of gold now, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned. Oh, we've got diamonds as well. That's gonna be good. Alright, let's just grab two gold. Chuck you in there. And then quickly, let's actually make an infinite water source like right here. Such a beautiful like water. 
if you reckon. Uh, let's quickly grab some more lava, just for the sake of filling up our smoothery. Once it gets to the nether, it'll be fine. Oh, that's what we could do as well. We can make another portal. Uh, you. Is that enough? It is. Awesome. Let's make another portal. We have more than enough. Awesome. Let's just put it here. Oh, we need flint and steel, don't we? I did not consider this particular... Wait, does it require steel? Or does it require just iron? I think it requires steel. Which can be made with a hammer, can't it? With coal and iron. That should be fine. Let me double check. Steel. It'll be steel one. Oh, flint and iron. Awesome. That's shocking. I expected a pack like this to make it a bit harder, but I'm not complaining. Now we want... Where's our iron ingot? There. What was it that? I think it's... Oh, I think it's, um... Oh, what was the pack that I played? There's a, there was a decent pack I played that... Wait, what? Ah, oh, awesome. Uh, we want... Two? Actually, let's just get... Yeah, we're gonna need obsidian tier stuff anyway, so let's put in... Six? Can you make it into a mingot? Obsidian mingot. You cannot. Oh, I remember this being a pain. Oh, is it not allowable? Is it fine glowstone that's alloy? I know there's a really obnoxious alloy recipe. What the fuck? I'm not excited to get into forestry, to be honest. I don't remember enjoying it, but I didn't play it very much, so we'll see. Uh, we actually don't want to sharpen any kit. Oh, we do actually. We need it for that. I want you, you, and you. Oh, I also got a new chest, didn't I? Hold on. Where is it? Come on. Oh, actually, we'll get the shopping kit now. That's two, yeah. And then we're going to want... It's three. Pretty easy. I think it's Cobalt's next year, and then Maniolum, which is Cobalt and Ardite, if I recall correctly. Uh, what do I want? Well, <laughs> I don't need the flint steel anymore, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's cobalt. Oh. Might get the many alum one, to be honest. It's got aura. Let's chuck all of you in here. Actually, we want you. Well, I might as well grab all the Tinker stuff out. Everything. Chuck all my old pickaxes in there. We are going to need you. I'm going to go over to the tool station. Pickaxe. You in there. Everything else in here. You in there. All of that in there. You in there and. Perfect. Awesome. I reckon... Oh, the armor system is cringe in this, isn't it? Uh, let's go diamond armor. Wait. Diamond helmet? There we go. I remember the system being a massive pain. Yeah, because you have to work your way down from, like, leather and work your way up, which is a painful process. But I do have full leather armor, don't I? Let's start the process now. So, what's the next tier? Leather. Iron. Oh, I'm gonna need a fuckload of iron. Never mind. I'm not doing that right now. Uh, what should we do while we're gone? Let's quickly get some stuff smelting. Let's just grab a bunch of iron. Stop that smelting. Grab a bunch of iron. Wait, wasn't there a reward for seared bricks? Oh yeah, we already used it, didn't we? Awesome. All right, let's get some cobalt, shall we? And hopefully we don't die in the process. Uh, 
I have no idea how half the mods in this pack work, by the way. That should be said. It's going to be very much a learning process for me. Because so I haven't actually, like, finished any mod. That's pre-1.20.1. Like I said, when I was a kid, I did not know what I was doing. Now, let's quickly set a waypoint for portal. Um, what level is Cobalt found at? We want. Cobalt. Uh, there. That's at level... Oh my god. It's most prominent level 72. What level are we at now? 65. So if we go... There's the fortress over there. Well, this seems like a giant island we're stuck on. These guys won't attack me, will they? Until I start breaking shit. Oh, those blazes are making me nervous. Ow. Oh, I left the fire resistance person at home. Fuck. Let's just quickly hide. No. No, go away. Oh. Uh, this is terrifying. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually... I'm actually fucking amazing at this game. I'm dodging everything. Okay. So we want to get up to a Y equals 72. I need my symmetry. Alright, I'm going to start strip mining for some cobalt and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, we, we've we got the cobalt and the Ardite. We're, like the quest says to make cobalt shit. Well, it doesn't actually say to make cobalt shit. So I'm going to skip the cobalt shit and just go straight to many alum because it's better. Uh, I'm going to grab the iron. God, that is fucking slow. Hopefully this won't, like, merge with any of the, the other stuff. Fingers crossed. I'm going to actually just chuck all the netherrack into here. Uh, keep the axe head. I'm going to use that later. That's really annoying. Alright, hurry up. 90... 100. Awesome. Hopefully that should be done before they come in. And we're just going to put all but one of the cobalt in, and then all of the ardite. And then chuck you two in. Put the ardite and you in there. Start getting many alum stuff, which is the tier of progression I was hoping to get up to. Oh, we need a sharpening kit, are you serious? Osglogus is much more complicated, isn't it? Osglogus. I think this is where I got up to was Osglogus, because you need Osglogus. Yeah, it is called Osgloglus. Yeah, you need refined glowstone, refined obsidian, and molten osmium. And refined obsidian, you need a metallurgic infuser. Yeah, which is going to be a little bit of a process before we get there. So we'll stick with uh, many alum for the time being, and hopefully get up to that point. Did I get past Osglogus? I don't remember. Oh, no, because... The Enderium's locked behind. Enderium is locked behind. What is locked behind? Molten Enderium. Was it just Ender Pearls? Oh, Resonant Ender, which you need. Uh, yeah, Resonant Endstone 4, which can be found in the end. Which I didn't get up to. Ah, uh, so we need the Sharpening Kit. For the quest. Yes. And we get es excavator shit. Okay. And we want these three. I'm gonna place you in there for right now. It's, it's, it's quite lovely. Nothing better than sitting at home at like 5 p.m. Oh, I made another fucking. Nothing better than sitting at home at 5 p.m. on a fucking Saturday. And just playing Minecraft and listening to the rain. As much as I love this country, I I vastly prefer winter over summer here. Australian summers, especially recently, have been fucking misery. Like this summer especially was hell on earth. Uh, okay. Pickaxe. Awesome. 
And then I'm going to go into here and make ourselves a Maniellum pickaxe. And I can also get the... Uh, which one do I want? Get this one because it has more um, durability. And yeah, the next tier is Osglogus, which we will worry about in the future and not right now. Awesome. Okay. So, what's the plan of action now? Do I have any seeds on hand? Because I might get a farm up and running. That might be an idea. Oh, I'm going to have to make the stuff for the hoe. That'll be fine. Um, put you back in there. What do we need for a hoe? Uh, hoe. I need cool tool rod, camera head, and binding. So I just need a camera head. Which one's that one? Camera head. And then we need some gold. What I might actually do is so between this episode and the next one, I'm going to get some more tools, uh, get some more bindings made up, and I'm going to go find a village and get some more chest. Um, in the meantime, this has been the process of getting Manny Allen, uh, episode of one of Enigmat Enigmatica 2 Expert. I hope you guys wa uh, enjoyed watching. If you did, um, sub like subscribing actually does help quite a bit. Um, it helps me reach more people and shit like that. Liking is obviously greatly appreciated. Commenting is greatly, pre greatly appreciated. Even if it's to tell me I'm a fucking idiot and I've done something wrong, I'm more than happy for you to tell me that in the comments because comments always help and I want to learn because I don't know this pack very well. So any advice is greatly appreciated. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and have a good one.